So in this video, we're going to discuss next level advanced triple threat combos that you can add to your shot creation bag if you're feeling extra spicy. Now, these moves aren't essential to your shot creation, but I like to think if you want to cook at a different level, these are the types of moves that you want to add to your offensive arsenal. And we're going to start with your jab step step over escape jumpers, which are executed by initiating a step over, tapping the right stick to your left pivot foot in this case, and then double tapping the right stick in any direction to execute a step back jumper or a hop jumper out of a step over. Now think Kobe, Devin Booker, Jason Tatum, they love to execute hop jumper combos out of their triple threat moves. And this is exactly the type of sauce that you like. That particular spin step over, I really like that move. And some of these animations can be really quick. So if you get your defender off balance as I do with Al Horford in this case, that nice little step over forced him to hesitate jab step doesn't make him react but that step over to escape jumper for example is very deadly the only difficult thing is that the shot window the green window at hall of fame difficulty can be very small so you're going to want to be open to execute these jump shots and for this move to be effective, you're gonna want to pay attention to the footwork of your defender. In this case, after our step over to the left, it forces Derek White to sort of move his body and guard our left. That gives us a natural counter. We double tap the right stick down and to the right and just hold it to execute that jump shot. The only problem with this move is that even if some of the animations are really quick, against defenders with length, athleticism, and the right defensive badges, they'll be able to contest this rather easily. See that green window initially was very makeable, but after a simple closeout and contest, that green window is basically eliminated. So I only advocate for using this move if you have a mismatch, particularly on the length and athleticism side. See here, Chris Stapps executes that step over, forces Josh Okogi to shift his body to his left. And then we counter with a nice spin step over step back. That's cash money for guys with the right badges. And as you can see here, even guys with just a tiny bit of a mismatch, even though we got the reaction, if a defender can close out quick and has the right defensive badges, it's not a good shot. So you want to use these moves with guys like KD who can execute tough buckets, can be closed out with by guys with tremendous length and athleticism and still has the ability to make the shots because of his badge loadout. You want to have Space Creator, Dead Eye, Blinders, those badges that will amplify your ability to make difficult shots. And if you're able to do so, man, there is nothing more satisfying than executing these nice Kobe style triple threat escape jumper counters next with the power of pro play nba 2k24 adds new jab step and step over combos to the shot creation arsenal of certain signature athletes for example lebron james after executing a step over just hold the shot button or the shot stick and he will execute this nice little step over fadeaway which is a patented lebron james move and i love to use this against guys that are much smaller or in a poor position to defend donovan mitchell has a different one it's not a step over fadeaway to his pivot side it's a reverse fadeaway counter which is oh so sweet and i use this in this situation against austin reeves a guy with great length i ask for a pick from evan mobley and look at this counter. Austin Reeves goes under the screen. We just hold square in this situation. And it's a quick spin fade counter. Which gives us the space and the shot creation potential that we need in that situation. So other guys have these types of combos. Another one which I'll show later on is Jason Tatum. It's more akin to that LeBron James step over fadeaway. But as you can see here, just tap the right stick towards your pivot foot. And then just hold square. It's that simple. When you got a situation, you have to read your defense. Here, Zubac, hand down, man down. This gives us the animation cue to just rise up. And as you can see, it's an open shot. Again, if you got guys in a poor defensive position, they're off balance, they're off to your side, just go ahead and rise up for that easy jumper. So go into 2K, you see which other signature athletes have some of these nice fadeaway or different advanced shot creation counters from their triple threat jab steps and step overs. For example, Paul George has his nice step over fadeaway and Joel Embiid even has his jab step into a standard triple threat fadeaway as you can see. That's a patented Joel Embiid move, he likes to do these nice triple threat shimmies to execute that nice fadeaway. 
So it's different from a standard shot, as you can see right there. And last, we're gonna do some jab step post move combos, which is very simple. Execute any triple threat jab step or step over and then hold the right stick in any direction. And this will give you a nice hook counter, sometimes nice step throughs, different types of spin shots, post hooks. And as you can see, you can even combo it to a standing dunk. But in my opinion, this isn't quite ready to cook yet in a game situation. I'm only really able to execute this against guys which I have a mismatch on. But it's not as flexible and as dynamic as their standard post move. So if you have a mismatch, you might want to consider executing this move. But otherwise, uh, th that one is my favorite. The step over fade away out of a low post position. As you can see, Tobias Harris is crowding. Cat, we just give a nice step over. Hold the right stick to the left to give us a nice fade away jumper. But other than the difficulty in hitting a contested shot, the other reason why I don't like to use this move is that you are sometimes susceptible to some traveling violations. And even if they don't call the traveling, the footwork still is funky. It still needs a few work, maybe in a future iteration of 2K. Right now, unfortunately, it's not quite there yet, but I like the steps that 2K is taking in order to, to know, um, add more to our triple threat shot creation bag. So I hope you enjoyed the video. These are not essential moves. I wouldn't even use these moves in a competitive setting. But if you're feeling nice, if you're feeling fancy and you got takeover on, hey, consider using these moves and cook and let them know that Kevin Cruz sent you.